I want to talk to you about why I hate the fitness industry. I know, sounds crazy, right? That's what I do. I love fitness. I'm into fitness. All my videos are about fitness. Everything I talk about is about fitness. But guess what? I hate the fitness industry. And why is that? The reason why I hate the fitness industry is because they lie to you. They lie to every single person wanting to get fit. I was lied to. I was lied to many times. And I've tried many different things I was told by people in the fitness industry, by companies in the fitness industry, because they made me believe that that was right. And what am I referring to? I'm referring to getting ripped, getting a six pack ab, getting muscles that everyone wants, getting the body that you dream of. You're lied to. You lied to your whole life because I guarantee you you're one of those guys that believe that doing a thousand sit-ups will get you six-pack abs. Well, guess what? It takes 22,000 sit-ups to burn one pound of body fat. So, you're wrong right there. Or maybe you're one of those guys that believe that eating chicken and rice your whole life will get you six-pack abs. I mean, yeah, it'll be beneficial, but in the end it won't help you at all. Because in the end you'll just be destroying your body, destroying your mind, and you'll probably end up quitting before you can even get to the end. That's how bad that is. Now, you may also may believe that doing cardio for hours is what's gonna get you ripped. Going to the gym, working out for hours is going to get you ripped. You're gonna get bigger if you work out longer. You're not. Yeah, there's people out there that work out longer. There's people out there that eat nothing but chicken and rice. There's people out there that work out for hours on end, that go to the gym twice a day. There's people out there that are dedicated into the fitness industry that are ripped and do that and go to the gym all those hours every day days on end but guess what they have an advantage over you and you know the one thing that they have over you is testosterone hgh human growth hormone and that's what guys need to get ripped how do these guys get it they get it by taking steroids by taking drugs guess what you don't have that advantage so you need something that's gonna help you increase your HGH, help you increase your testosterone. And let me tell you, doing hours of cardio, working out for hours, is only gonna decrease your ability to gain muscle, to burn fat. You know why? Because there's a thing in your body that's released called cortisol. It's a stress hormone. And if you work out, studies have shown for, 40, for more than 45 minutes, for more than an hour, if you work out for more than an hour, then guess what's gonna happen? Cortisol is gonna be released and your body's ability to gain muscle and burn fat is no more, it's it diminished for that day. So that uh, hour and a half long workout was pointless. There's no reason for it at all. So what do you need to do? Yes, working out for 45 minutes is good. You need to hit those weights because that's what helps you increase your testosterone, increase your HGH. But there's also one other thing that you need to do. Something that you need to add to your diet that you've been told is the wrong thing for you. This is another reason why I hate this industry, why I hate the health industry, why I hate the food industry. Because everyone's always after you for money. That's all they want. Buy my products, this will get you ripped. It won't get you ripped. It really won't. And you probably know that. You've probably tried those products before. Eat this food, it'll get you ripped. It won't get you ripped. Do these sit-ups, they'll get you ripped. They won't get you ripped. And you may be a guy that's been going to the gym for years on end, for months on end, that works your ass off and you deserve to have a six pack, you deserve to have abs, you deserve to have the body of your dreams, but you don't have it because you're doing everything wrong. And it's not your fault. You just don't know what it is that you have to do. And I'm here to teach you. I'm here to tell you exactly what it is you have to do. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna give you everything that you need, tell you everything that you need to know in order to get ripped. But for now, I wanna talk about all the misconceptions out there. We already went over a few. Don't do your cardio for hours. And that's another, there's another reason not to do your cardio for hours. The same reason you shouldn't be going to the gym for hours because of the cortisol release. If you do cardio, steady state cardio, you're only burning calories while you're doing that cardio. If you're running on a treadmill for an hour, you're only gonna burn the calories for that hour that you're running on the treadmill. And guess what else is gonna happen? You're gonna be breaking down your muscle. So in the end, it's not beneficial at all. It's a complete opposite. When you do high intensity cardio, that's what helps you increase your body's ability to burn fat. Because when you do the high intensity cardio, you're burning fat up to, you're burning calories up to 24 hours to 36 hours after you're done working out. Because your metabolism increases, your fat burning ability increases, your exercise post oxygen consumption increases, so your body's ability to go back to the normal oxygen consumption increases your calorie burn and that lasts for up to 36 hours if you do it right. Another thing I want you to do, 
is this is this is one thing that's gonna help you increase your testosterone HGH lift heavy always have at least one heavy day in there because when you do that your body the stress the demand put place on your body makes it increase that HGH and testosterone just that demand on your body one thing nutrition wise that I want you to do is eat more fat Yes, I know, it may sound very controversial. Eat more fat to lose weight? No, eat more fat, because what eating fat does, it helps you burn fat. It helps you burn fat and build muscle. I know, as crazy as that sounds. The thing that fat does, the hormones in fat, it helps you balance your hormones. It helps your HGH increase and your testosterone increase as well. Saturated fat, unsaturated fat, and polyunsaturated fat. Avoid trans fat, fat is in fast food, fat that has shelf life, preservatives, all that good stuff, but eat your healthy fat. Avocados, almonds, animal meat, steak, fish, um, I, I already said avocados. All those good foods, and there's a long list of healthy fat which I'll send over to you. All you have to do is go to likeamanfitness.com and fill in the opt-in form and I'll be sending you a workout and a nutritional guide. And with this, this is what's going to increase your body's ability to build muscle and burn fat. And I know all your idols that you look up to in the fitness industry, they don't eat fat. They eat chicken and rice all the time. They eat protein, lots and lots of protein. But what eating lots of protein does, the same bad effects that eating lots of carbs does. It increases your insulin sensitivity. And with your, when your insulin is increased, your fat storage is increased. So when you're eating processed foods like Twinkies and, and I can't even think, cereals, all that stuff, bread, all it does is increase your body's ability to store fat. And we don't want to do that. We want to burn fat, which is why we have to eat fat. I know it sounds funny, again. So what I want you to do for your nutrition wise, I want you to increase your, increase your fat intake, okay? And like I said, you go over to likeamanfitness.com and fill everything out and I'll send you over something to help you understand this a lot more. But I want you to increase your fat intake so I want your main macronutrient, macronutrients are protein, carbs, and fats. I want your main macronutrient to be fat. I want your second main at a moderate level to be protein. Now, I don't want you taking in too much protein, but I want you taking in a good amount. And your carb sources are coming from vegetables. This will increase your body's ability to burn fat and gain muscle. I'm telling you, I'm guaranteeing, guaranteeing you this. And if it doesn't, you can call me a liar. But guess what? I don't lie. I've tried so many things for so long, year and years and years, trying all these different diets, all these fad diets, if it fits your macros, um, chicken and rice, and they all failed me. The one thing that has always lasted, I've tried time and time again, is eating natural foods, eating good whole natural foods with my fat intake increased as well. Now why eating all these other foods, all these foods with preservatives, all these foods that are frozen, pastas, everything wheat even wheat they all have gmos in them they're all genetically modified and they have chemicals in them that decrease your body's testosterone and that's the reason i don't know if you if you know this which i highly doubt the men nowadays their testosterone levels are 30 percent lower than men 20 years ago and testosterone is what men need to build fat to burn fat and build muscle so i know this is a lot to take in but what i want you to do let me break it down real quick when you're doing your cardio, do short, intense bursts of cardio. High intensity interval training or Tabata training. You can find them both at over at likeamanfitness.com. I'll have it linked below. I want you to increase your fat intake, eat vegetables for your carb source, eat natural foods, and have a moderate protein intake. So your vegetables and all natural foods like sweet potatoes, you can also have sweet potatoes. Have a one sweet potato a day to get that carb intake up but I want you to have a low carb intake. And what else did I say? Don't listen to all these, don't listen to all these, the fitness industry, don't listen to these fitness models, don't listen to all these fad diets because they're all just lying to you. They all wanna make their money. Yes, supplements are good. Supplements can help, about 5% though. You cannot rely on supplements, they will do nothing for you. And time and time again, I've had people say, oh, what supplements should I take to burn fat? Which, don't take supplements to burn fat. Let's change up your diet to burn fat. Diet makes up to 80% of your results. Diet is the most important thing that you can change at this point. The most important thing. If you listen to what I'm saying, if you go over to likeamanfitness.com, fill out the, put in your email, I'll send you over a nutritional guide with a workout program, a short little workout program just to get you started. And we'll go from there. 
but do not listen to all these liars. Come on, let's do this. We're in this together. Aim high, keep working hard. Likeamanfitness.com. But we killing them.